Hey guys, welcome to our Kiki Notes. In the previous video, I have shown you how to use JSP action tags along with JSP include and forward tags. So I have shown you the demonstration of using those two tags. In this video, we'll talk about JSP use bean, JSP set property and JSP get property. So basically this use bean action tag is used to locate a uh, java bean class or else we can use it to instantiate it means it can create an object and then we'll be using it the object fine so how are we going to do that in this way jsp colon use bean id uh, we need to specify the name um, and then you can specify the scope even like this either page session or whatever you want then you can say class and then you need to specify the package name and then from that package which class name you want to you know locate so that you need to specify fine so i'm going to do a small example uh, implementation of uh, a small task so first i'm going to take uh, index.html then uh, i'm going to design a form with three text fields you can see that name password and email and then one button all right the moment i click the button it should go to use bean.jsp and the method is post so here is use bean.jsp now what uh, we have done in this so i'm using jsp use bean and then i'm locating the class okay so id equal to u which means this is my name you can assign any name over here and then with this name we can call this particular bean okay now the class is I'm having a package called as rk.user. So rk is my package name and user is the class name. It is over here, you can see that. This is the package name and then this is the class name. I'm referring to this class only, okay? So now what happens? Uh, after this, I'm saying set property and property equal to star, which means uh, everything. Uh, star in the sense, it refers to all the properties. And what is the name we have created? That is you, using this name, uh it should be remembered means it should set all the properties now how many values i'm going to take or accept from user these three values name password email so once you set these name password and email to these classes uh, then i need to get the same properties using js th this is jsp set property tag and this is jsp get property tag and I'm saying property name equal to name, and then the use bean name is you. Fine. So with this, I'm going to get all the property informations, which will be printing all the informations. That's it. Now, how the values got set and how the values got you know uh, printed, that we will see in the class. This we call it as Pojo class, plain old Java object. All right. So this class has got only variables. Uh, constructors a uh, getter and setter methods that's it now why we are using getter and setter methods because uh, we know that if we if you keep the variables private you don't want to give the access to these methods directly right i mean uh, so nobody should use this so through uh, these vari variables will be uh, you know used in this getter and setter methods and then you can call this methods uh, from other uh, class so now my package name is rk and my class name is user and i have three private variables so i'm i'm generating the getter and setter methods so in get so for example the first variable name get name um, method and then i'm returning the name getting it so that this get property will actually refers to that and then it will get the uh, value from the method and then it will be returning it fine similarly initially we are setting all the properties right to this uh, using this u i'm setting all the properties to this class so which means that it refers to set name method and then what is the name we are accessing i mean we are uh, giving input so some name for example abc so this input goes to the set name and then this particular parameter and then the name i mean, I mean the uh, name will get set here and then whenever the moment you use jsp get property and then this method will be executed and then you will get the values printed over there 
fine so similarly it happens for the rest of the variables that's it so i'm just going to implement this in netbeans so i'll show you this you can see that uh, i have uh, the index.html file and then use jsp so in this case my index.html file is the first file which is going to be executed so i don't want uh, web.xml file all right and then uh, as a as i have just shown you that in index.html there is a form with three fields text fields and then in use bean um dot jsp i'm creating the i'm using the use bean action tag set property action tag and get property so now now all the values which i am accepting from index.html will get setted using the set property to this particular class okay and then i'm using get property to get all the information so this particular example is to just accept input from user and print that we have already done in servlets we use request.get parameter fine so instead of that i'm just performing the same operation using use bean and set property and get property that's it nothing else so now i'm creating a package here to create a package you have to just right click new and then you can say java package and then you can mention the package name basically the package name will be uh, i mean your folder name will be your package name so you can see that i have created a, a plain class file so how to do that right click new so you can see that you have two options java class and java main class if you select java main class it shows means it creates a class and also with a main method that is public static void main in this case we don't need that because we need to just create a plain class pojo class fine so you have to go here java class and once you do this you will get a plain class so now the task is uh, don't feel that this is lengthy it is very simple to create the getter and generate the getter and setter classes i mean methods so how to do that first you have to say uh, you know what variables you want so just sp specify all the variables and then let me delete this code for you as of now and i'll show you how to generate the getter and setter methods so i'm deleting it i have deleted it fine so instead of typing those getter and setter methods you just right click here and then go to insert code fine and then you can see that either you want constructor logger getter setter so there are many things right like two string and and there were so many things so now we need a getter and setter methods just click this and and then you need to select for how many variables you need to select if you want for all the variables just select everything and then say generate click on this button so it will generate uh getter and set uh setter methods automatically for you so this is a simple task right fine now let me just save this and then now i'm just going to execute this particular code run and uh, as usual it is asking for uh, these um, information and let me say like this so now the moment i click the register button it goes to that use bean.jsp file right so from that file it will access my pojo class and then it will set all the uh, you know values which i am passing here and then i'm using get property uh, action tag to get all the information that's it so immediately my information will be printed that's it so this is right now it doesn't use bean.jsp so basically uh, the user knows that there is a html page and there is a you know the results are printed from uh, some other file but the user does not aware of the pojo class and what is happening inside that getting it so this is uh, the simple example to demonstrate a use bean a set property and get property action tags hope you like this if you like the video hit the like button do try this uh, example and then let me know if you have got any queries in the comment section do subscribe my channel uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.